Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is finally, finally going to be a bookshelf tour. I bought a new bookshelf from Walmart. Um, it's a mainstays brand and it is in the rustic oak color. Personally, I would have preferred a black or white one, but the rustic oak was on sale for $21, so I got it. And um, it is a five-row bookshelf because the three-row bookshelf that I had just was bending up. And it wasn't working for all the books that I get because I do review um, various Bibles and books for companies. But um, as you're going to see, the five-row bookshelf I have now is just not substantial enough. So I'm probably going to have to have like four five-row bookshelves when I move. Um, yeah, because I'm obsessed with books and everything. But um, before I share with you guys my bookshelf tour, I do want to give you guys um, a sort of tip, if you will, on how to pick books that you really want to read but don't know where to start. Like if you have a really, really big, large, to-be-read pile like I do. And this is a tip that I got when I was um, doing BookTube. Um, and I used to, well, I still review um, various type of books like paranormal romance and stuff like that, but not as much. But um, this was a tip that really helped me out back then. And I'm going to share it with you guys. And it's called a TBR jar. And TBR basically means to be read. So it's a jar, container, bottle, whatever you want to use. I'm just using this candle holder that I don't even put candles in anymore because I use... Um, uh, oil diffuser but um yeah you just use this and you get various strips of papers and um you know I've been using post-it notes because I have so many I just cut them into strips and wrote titles on them and I picked about 20 or 30 books on my shelf that I really really want to read but don't know where to start and um I just wrote them out on paper like that and um, you fold it up so that you cannot see the title. You throw it in the jar. And you can swirl it, shake it, or just, you know, put your hand in and dip it in and go like that. And then pick out one, and whatever one you pick, or whichever one that you pick out, um, would be the book that you read. And that's how I pick the book that I have now. Um, I have this pink paper here, and it just says, Women of the Word by Jen Wilkin. Hope you guys see that. Probably not. But um, it is this book here. Woman of the Word by Jen Wilkin. And it's How to Study the Bible with Both Our Hearts and Our Minds. And it's a really good book. I'm loving it so far. I haven't gotten that far in it, honestly. I've only read chapter one. Yeah, I've read the introduction in chapter one. I'm going to dive into chapter two. But um, so far, I'm really loving it, as you can see. It's a really good um, tip. Stuff that I already knew, of course. But it's good to reread and um, re-remember and remind yourself of things so I really do like this book um, so far even though I'm not that far and I'm only 34 pages in but it's really good so far and um, I mean what I'm more excited about and I mentioned this before previously is where is it where is it she has a page in here where she shows you how she uses her journaling Bible and um, this is like freaking amazing because she really shows you how she writes in her Bible, which is awesome. So I do recommend this if you're looking um, for a way to get into studying your Bible or you want to learn more about studying the word. This is a good one. I've been enjoying it. I'm loving it so far. And um, yeah, I picked it out from this little scrap piece of paper. And you're not going to see this on my bookshelf just because I have it at my desk because um, I'm always at my desk, obviously. But um, yeah, this is actually probably going to go on my bookshelf. So today probably um and i'll just keep my little strip of paper next to me but um yeah let's just dive right into this bookshelf tour okay guys so here's the bookshelf it is from walmart it's a mainstays five row bookshelf here's a quick overview i just have it right in front of my bed between my dresser and tv and my son's cabinet and it goes all the way down get this to autofocus for you guys and those um, USPS boxes and then brown boxes are books and things that I need to give away. <laughs> in those boxes, I have like five boxes of books to give away. But um, that is the shelf. The color is rustic oak. This one was on sale for actually $21, but they're normally like $27. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the first row. So um, starting at the top of my shelf, I just have my two purses there. My lavender one, which is from Christian Seriano's, um, his Payless line, the same with this brown one. But inside the brown one, I have all of like my mini purses and clutches that I really don't even use. But um, so here is this top shelf. 
I have this pink bin and this purple bin. Um, I got them both from Dollar Tree and they're holding some items. So I normally keep my photo, which is this here, Faith Around Us, Beside Us, to love and to guide us with myself in it. Um, I'm going to take that picture out and put a picture of me, my son, and fiance in here um, and put it up there. But I just moved it for the time being. But this pink bin here holds all of my Discovery Series booklets that I get from Our Daily Bread, which look like these. So, that holds all of those, and there's a ton of those. Um, then I have my Discover the Word from Our Daily Bread. Get that to focus, okay. Uh, stainless steel coffee mug. Um, you can put hot drinks and cold drinks in there. Either way, it works. It keeps your things hot for a long time and keeps them cold for a long time. I have a bunch of gift cards here. So, this one was sent to me for review. Then I got a bunch back here from Dollar Tree, which I need to fix these so they don't fall somehow some way so we're gonna fix that eventually but um and that one still fell <laughs> and they're just falling so whatever and this is what I mean by them falling through the back so uh yeah I keep those up there this is the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance that I got. Um, this is Briefing the Bible by Dr. Vernon McGee. This is my quick scripture reference for um, counseling. Compact Bible Handbook, Compact Bible Dictionary. This purple bin holds all of my audio stuff. So kind of like um, my audio discussions that I get from Discover the Word. I mean, Discovery Series. Well, this, from Our Daily Bread, basically. Um, so I have a bunch of those here. I have my ones from Joyce Meyer here. Um, this, which is from Our Daily Bread as well, is a thumbnail with um, a bunch of... It's a flash drive with a bunch of um, videos and audios to listen to. I have my Kling Bible Study DVD, Brazilian Bible Study DVD, Along the Road Bible Study DVD, and like a bunch of DVDs. So that's what's there. So that's the top shelf. Um, so I'm going to move to the second shelf here, but I'm actually going to put you guys on the tripod, so give me a second. Okay, so starting on the second shelf on this side, um, these are actually new books that I need to haul. So you guys can see the side of them, but these are books that I need to do for my May haul, so I just have those there. Um, and I'm not sharing those with you guys just because I'm going to do the actual May bookshelf, I mean book haul. Um, so... Up here, I have most of my devotionals, if I'm not mistaken. I think I have most of my devotionals with some other books. Um, I tried to make this shelf strictly devotional books, but I just have way too many books to do that. So, um, before I show you guys that, I'm going to show you guys the rest of what's on the shelf. So, here's that uh, photo, which I'm just going to pop back up here. So, quickly, that's pretty much how that photo goes up there. But, um... So this is actually um, two new planners I got. This is a fitness planner that I recently purchased from Walmart. Um, I don't even know. It's from Pen, Pen and Gear. And um, it's just a fitness journal because I really want to be more um, intentional about working out. I'll work out a few weeks um, and then I'll stop working out for like months. So I'm trying to be more intentional. So I got that. And um, I needed a new planner for 2018, 2019 because the one I use... I can grab it. The one I've actually been using for the past two years is the Day Designer, um, but not their like expensive brand. I normally get the Day Designer for Target and Blue Sky brand. Um, this is the one I was using for this year, and it expires in June. So um, if you guys don't know what the Day Designer looks like, I'll quickly show you how it's set up. It is a daily planner where you have it looks like this so you have your schedule here from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. but in 30 minute increments your to do's your today's top three your notes section tonight and gratitude and then your weekend kind of looks like this together so um I really love this setup but I honestly haven't been using it um like I used to um I used to be a big planner nerd I used to have Aaron Condren's I used to have um the happy planners but I don't know recently I just haven't been into planning as I used to so I figured I would just get a little cheaper one from Walmart but I found this one here which it says amazing things will happen 2018 2019 
Um, and they had it in this color and then a peach color. But um, I like this one because it came with like six things of stickers. So you get two of the same pages. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this now. But you got this one. And then you got two sheets of these. But um, it's, what I like is that uh, the beginning of the month you have your goals section, your monthly to-dos, important dates and birthdays. And something you can just write at the bottom here. Then your monthly view looks like that. Um, but your weekly was set up like this. It was a two column kind of weekly thing. And I don't know. I just, I like the way it was set up. So I got it. And it was like 10 or $11 or something like that. Um, and I got this just because as much as I love the day designer um, with Target and Blue Sky planner, it's $40. And I don't want to spend $40 on a planner where I'm not going to be consistent in using it as I used to be. And um, I can always just, I prefer to do this rather than um, the daily kind of hourly stuff now. So, whatever. Um, but this box here, I'm going to be using for storage. But this is actually something I got for my friend's wedding. And because um, I'm a bridesmaid in her wedding. So, this was the box that she gave to the bridesmaids. And um, I'm excited for this, you guys. Oh, there's tape still on mine. But, um, eh, I should probably take this off right now without ripping anything. And there we go. So I just have this on my bookshelf for now, just because it's really cute. It's a really pre pretty, pretty, pretty box. And it's one of those kind of like, put a tag in here. So, um, just some stuff from that. So I have that there. And then lastly, I have these two photo albums, which I actually just recently got, like this morning. Literally before I made this video, I just threw it up there. Um, these are photo albums. They're both four by six photo albums, and I got them because my prayer wall is running out of space, and um, I still want it somewhere where I can put the prayers that I'm working, like praying over, somewhere close to my prayer wall. So I got two of these to stick them in. They hold 24 photos, so 24 prayers each, and um, I'm excited. So I'm probably gonna get something to spruce this little section up that says prayers, and um, yeah, got that, and they're. I can just back this up quickly and give you guys a quick view of it. Okay. So, this will be a long video. I apologize ahead of time, you guys. <laughs> but, um, okay, let me get this to focus. I'm going to go through every book that I have on my shelf. So, this one is Lies, Women Believe by Nancy DeMoss. Um, Words of Grace by Scott Patty. This is a devotional. This is Love Talk devotional. It's a one-year um, couples devotional written by doctors Les and Leslie Parrott. And um, Les and Leslie are their names. They're, they're a married couple. So I have that devotional. And it's a one-year devotional. I've read a few pages in it, but I never, like, stuck to it. This one here is Worship the King, one-year devotional. It's written by Chris Tigreen. This, what is this, actually? Oh, um, now that you believe, beginning your new relationship with Jesus from um, Dr. Charles F. Stanley from the In Touch Ministries. Great is Thy Faithfulness devotional from Our Daily Bread is 365 day. This one is a 366 day devotional called called um, God's Call to a Deeper Life from Nancy Taylor. I love this one. I'm thinking about just um, displaying this one on my shelf somehow because it's so pretty. I love it. Here's another devotional. This one is a 90-day devotional. It's um, spread too thin, opting out of frantic living, opting into lasting peace by Ellen uh, Miller. And I'm actually reading one of her devotionals now. And um, keep in mind, all of these are not all the books that I have because I do have books um, at my work desk. So, yeah. Um, Wisdom of the Bible as well as Questions for Jesus by my First Lady, Pastor Tanya Jenkins. This is um, The Good Life, 15 Stories of Finding Hope from Our Daily Bread. Making Your Voice Heard in Heaven by the Chaplain um, of the United States. What's his name? Barry C. Black. Uh, he is the Chaplain of the United States and it's How to Pray with Power, um, which I thought was phenomenal. I requested that last year before it came out because it just sounded really good. Uh, moving the camera over. Becoming a Welcoming Church by Tom S. Rayner, When We Say Father by Adrian and um, Steve Rogers, Seeing the Unseen by Randy Alcorn, this is an ARC 
as it says on sale um anything that has like the date that it's on sale is a arc copy that i received um 100 days with jesus it's a devotional and this is like the prettiest devotional ever on the inside it's by diane cotton then i have my michelle mclean walter books so this is prayers and declarations for the women of god the esther anointing which i've read as you guys can see <laughs> The Deborah anointing, the Anna anointing, and her newest one, the Ruth anointing. So the way these books were written are kind of like in this way. I had them going back that way, but um, they just work that way. So this was the first one, the second, third, and the fourth one. And I hope she comes out with more of these books. Um, Windows on Christmas from Bill Crowder. God's Book of Proverbs. Then this is um, 40 Things the Word of God Does for You by Joyce Meyer. My two devotionals from Our Daily Bread on love and prayer. How to study the Bible. Know your Bible. How to pray from John Wesley. 109, 199 Promises of God. Overcoming Life's Challenges by Bill Crowder. Then I have some of my prayer books and more devotionals in, over in this section. So, um, I have Prayers for Difficult Times. Letting Go and Trusting God. This is 40 Days with Jesus by Sarah Young, Jesus Lives by Sarah Young, 365 Pocket Prayers for Mothers, 3-Minute Devotion for Women, um, Too Blessed to be Stressed, which is another 3-Minute Devotional for Women, Prayers with Purpose for Women, 180 Prayers for a Woman of God, 31 Days with God for Mothers, and then I have my um, Fruits of the Spirit Devotionals from Robert Strand. They look like this. So each individual Fruit of the Spirit has a devotional book. Um, you can buy the actual book complete, but I found these at Dollar Tree, shockingly enough. So um, they're pretty much set up in an interesting way. So your introduction here. Then you have self-control, and it gives you the Greek meaning, which I think is phenomenal. Then you'll get like some questions to answer and stuff like that. So I really like this. It's um, a good one to do and I'm looking forward to doing this when I um, study the Fruit of the Spirits. And then I think I have another book. Yes, I have Small, Bo Small Blessings from Our Daily Bread. It's kind of like a coffee book table. I mean a coffee table book where um, you just have some little quotes, scriptures, and um, photos like that chocolate. Ugh, amazing. And then the last one I have is this one, which is a One Year at the Cross devotional, also by Chris Tigreen. And um, this one is laid out like that. So um, you have, this is a day here, and it goes all the way on to the back, if need be. So I really like this one. I really like it. So um, this is one that you definitely can just pop in your purse. Or on a coffee table. Then I just have these flowers that I got, I believe, from my uncle's wedding. I think that's where that's from. But I might have just kept the flowers. So now we're going to move down to the second shelf. Here's the second shelf. And um, quick overview of that. So I have this card which says, True love, me and you. My fiance gave this to me. Either on Valentine's Day or on our anniversary some years ago. I can't remember, but it's so pretty and I kept it and I really, really like it. Um, the inside just says, yep, this feels permanent. So, um, yeah, I really like this card that he got me. And this is something else that I just got this morning. Um, it's a little kind of like wall plaque or whatever you would call these. It just says kindness is always free. And I think this is cute. This is really stinking cute. So I put it there on my shelf. Okay, so this middle row are more <laughs> books that I need to haul. So, yep, you can see that side. Those will be hauled soon. And then over here, I have my son's books. Um, these are books that are Christian based, so I keep them on my shelf. So I have this one here, which I recently got for review. It says Colorful. Celebrating the Colors God Gave Us by Dorina Williamson and illustrated by Cornelius Van Wright and Ying Wah Hu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just got that for a view. 
Um, a lot of these, actually all of these pretty much, except for one of these I got on review for my son. Um, these two I also got from for review when um we when I was a part of blogging for books before they close. So when God made you, Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by David Cartrell, and God gave us family by Lisa Ton Bergen, art by David Hound. Um, he's read both of them and he loves them. Then I have his uh. Roma, Downey, Roma Downey's Little Angels Bible Story Book, which we go through every day. Um, the CSB Christian Standard Holman's uh, Kids Bible that I did a video on. You can click the on the screen for that. This I recently purchased, um, and you guys saw this in the haul. It's the Gospel Story Connecting Christ Throughout the throughout God's Story, which is a good little book to have. It's like 99 cents or a dollar. Um, Our Daily Bread Devotional for Kids, which we haven't been going through faithfully, unfortunately. Um, The Great and Small Keepsake Bible Book for Babies, which is a book that I'm using for my future child um, or to give to another mom to be if I don't have another baby. Um, prayers for the Little Heart, which we, these are just little prayers that my son likes to read. And then another prayer book here. He's had more, but he's ripped them all up. Um, this is my first book of prayers. Thank you, prayers. Um, for this, my first book of thank you prayers. Sorry. Um, he also had one for like good night and for friends, but he's broken those books, so I just tossed them. And this you can find at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has a lot of these like little prayer books for kids, so um, I think they're really good to help your kids get into prayer. And then over here are just books that I think are really pretty or that I really like, um, or have really pretty co color covers sorry so um this one is sarah jake's colliding with destiny my awakened devotional by priscilla shire a woman's guide to spiritual warfare lead me holy spirit by stormy ormington courageous woman of the bible by latan roland murphy this is in bloom by kayla amy just gorgeous adamant by lisa bevere i think that's how you say it Bavere. I'm gonna have to watch a video because I think someone told me it was Bavere, but I always want to say Bevere. So yes, I'm gonna pronounce her name properly the next video. Believe that. Um, Fervent by Priscilla Shire, my favorite. Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be by I can't remember her first name. Donna Parto. Why Her by Nikki Kozarides. I'm probably saying that wrong. Of course. Um, 31 Proverbs to Light Your Path, as well as 31 Verses to Write on Your Heart by Liz Curtis Hicks. A Woman God Can Use and A Woman Jesus Can Teach by Alice Matthews. Two Copies of Cling by Kim Cache, because I love Cling. Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King, which I just finished reading. She did what she could um, over here. Sorry, you can't see that, but um, I should, probably should have put my flash on. But this is She Did What She Could by Alicia Morgan. I haven't read this yet. It's a six-week study guide included. Um, so the study guide is in the back. And the book is in the front. And it's all about... Um, who was this about? Was it Mary? No. I can't even remember which lady this was about. I think this was about whoever it was that um, anointed Jesus' feet with the uh, oil. I really can't remember, which is really sad, you guys. But, um. Oh, Mary of Bethany. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, so, yeah, that's what that is. And then these two journals that I have um, 30 Days to Peace and 30 Days to Joy. They're a one month creative journal. Um, so it's blank pages with questions where you can either draw or write or stick or whatever you want things to it to answer the questions. So that's that shelf. So on this shelf, back you up a bit. This shelf, I have my Bible bag. You've seen a video on this. Click the eye on the screen for that. Um, so I'm just going to move that out the way. And okay, so up here... I have some books that just didn't fit, so I had to put them up here. The Kindness Challenge by Shanti Feltan, Whisper by Mark Batterson, 
Um, this is from Oswald Chambers. It's the love of God, an intimate look at the Father. At the Father heart of God. Yeah. <laughs> um, Beth Morris praying God's word. This is oh Brooke McLaughlin's Gospel-Centered Mom. Uh, misreading scripture with Western eyes. Tortured for Christ and restore. I keep those there. Okay, so this is a, a Bible reading plan that I got from In Touch Ministry. So it's literally just a one-year reading plan where you can check off. So I'm going to pop that up here. These are my two devotionals um, from April and March that I did with In Touch. I didn't always complete them. Um, as you guys can see, I didn't always stick to them. But, um, you know, I got to put those up. Another <laughs> book that I need to haul, this is actually a Bible. I have two Bibles, actually, um, in the CSB translation. This is the Worldview Study Bible, and then I have the Women's Study Bible, which videos will be coming on soon. This Bible here actually doesn't release until the 15th, so those you will see soon. But, um, okay, so over here I have my Joyce Myers books because, you know, I like Joyce Meyer. Um, Living Courageously, The Mind Connection, Do Yourself a Favor, Forgive. Unshakable Trust, You Can Begin Again, all by Joyce Meyer. Uh, then I have Love Like You've Never Been Hurt by this guy, because I can never pronounce his first name. Gentazine, Gentazine, Franklin, with his wife, um, Sharice Franklin. And, uh, yep, can't wait for that. The Four Wheels of God by Dr. Emerson Egrich. Yes. Eschatological <laughs> Discipleship from Trevin K. Wax. I cannot pronounce this for anything, you guys. He Calls You Beautiful by Dee Breasting. Um, Preventing Suicide by, I think, Kate Mason. Karen Mason, sorry. Girls with Swords, also by Lisa Bevere. Bevere? Yep, something like that. No More Sheets from Juanita Bynum's, which is actually my cousin's book. I've had this for so long because my mom actually took it to read for a minute. And um, I didn't get it back till we moved here. So I haven't even read it yet. And it's my cousin. So I'm probably going to see if I can find my own copy and give it back to my cousin or my aunt. Um, Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. Being a Christian. Uh, Christians at the Border. Fierce Marriage, which is here from Ryan and Selena Frederick. Um, let me just move this up here. Moving on, we have Begin Again by Leanna Tankersley, Breaking the Fear Cycle by Marie Furlow, Rediscovering the Real Lost Gospel, Activate, um, which is really good for starting small groups and stuff like that, so I'm glad I got that book. Hearts of Fire, which is written by the same um, people that did Tortured for Christ, um, How to Ruin Your Life, Growing Down, which I've hauled these so far, um, 12 Extraordinary Women. 12 Ordinary Men by John MacArthur, The Best Yes by Lisa Turkers, Hello Beautiful by Alicia Morgan, God is Great by my first lady, Pastor Tanya Jenkins, The Woman of Easter by Liz Curtis Higgs, Captivating by John and Stacey Eldridge, Love Kindness, um, which I haven't read, but it seems like a good read. Let me move down. Nothing to Prove. By Janine Allen, The Air I Breathe by Louis Giglio, The Spotlight of Faith. I feel like I'm missing a book, but who knows? Um, <laughs> the Spotlight of Faith by Bill Crowder, Beauty Begins by Chris Shook and Megan Shook Alpha, which is a mother duo, mother daughter duo. Is the Bible Good for Women, which was an arc that I received, which I'm excited to read that. Seven Mile Miracle by Stephen Furtick. Intentional Christian by Daniel Ryan Day, another Joyce Meyer book, which is The Confident Woman, God's Mysterious Ways by Gary Enrig, Love Unending by Becky Thompson, Satisfied by Jeff Mannion, and then back there it's Find Your Brave by Holly Wagner. So those are those, there are those books, and um, now to the bottom. So down here are all my Bible studies, and um... That stack of books that you saw previously, um, some of those are Bible studies, which have to go down here. But um, these are Bible study booklets. Um, 
I do have other Bible study, like study guides within the books that are on the shelves, but these are strictly just Bible study books. So I have Open Your Bible by Rachel Myers and Amanda Bible Williams, which are the founders of She Reads Truth. Finding I Am by Lisa Turkers, The Armor of God by Priscilla Shire, This I Know, and I Am Found, both by, what is this lady's name? <laughs> Laura Dingman. Who Do You Say That I Am by Becky Harling. Ephesians Included in Christ, which is by Heather Heather Holman. Lies Women Believe, as well as Lies Young Women Believe, by Nancy DeMoss. The Best Yes from Lisa Turkers, as well as Uninvited, which I started, need to finish. Um, some of these I actually started. I think I've started Open Your Bible. Sorry about that. That was the uh, little white bin over here. But um, I've started Open Your Bible, I've started The Armor of God, I've started Uninvited, and then other ones, I'll tell you which one I started. But um, I have The Daniel Prayer by Anne Graham, Lots, 12 Women of the Bible. Um, there's another one as well, which is called 12 More Women of the Bible, but this one is um, written by a bunch of other people. So Lisa Turkers, Alicia Morgan, Janine St Steve, um, and yep, these people here, which I don't know half of them, but it's okay. <laughs> then I have Becoming Mom Strong Bible Study, 30 Life Principles from Charles F. Stanley, who is the pastor and founder of um, In Touch Ministries. I started that one as well. In All Things, this was an arc that I received, as you guys can see, it says on sale. 6 5 18. So it doesn't even come out till June. Um, and it's a study of Philippians by Melissa B. Kruger. This one is the Captivating Study Guide. This here is something I'm so excited for. So, this is the American Bible Challenge, um, a daily reader, volume one by Troy Schmidt. And it's basically, uh, how many days is this? This is a nine week study with more than 300 questions. So, um, this is about Peter, Paul, and Mary. So, it gives you something to read, it gives you some information. And then some questions to answer. So it says about how many believers were added after Peter's speech on Pentecost. The second one is how long did Mary stay with Elizabeth for her visit? Um, what is the book of the Bible where Mary, the mother of Jesus, what is the last book of the Bible where Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned? What city does Acts 9 tell us uh, Paul was from? And I, I just like this because it really helps you to get into your Bible and know more than the basics of what we tend to try to think of um learning to pray from our daily bread which i've done this one is simon peter a rocked move by god which is by bill crowder jesus's blueprint for prayer asking applying the lord's prayer to your life by hayden robinson which i started need to finish the purple book um by R Bryce Brox and Steve Mural. This is Biblical Foundations for Building Strong Disciples. And um, this just, I don't even know how to describe this. Um, I, I don't know how to describe this, you guys. But you guys can see, it talks about, um, let me get this to focus. It talks about sin and salvation, lordship and obedience, repentance and baptism, the Holy Spirit and the gifts, uh, spiritual hunger and God's word discipleship and leadership and all of them have either four or five lessons into them you have this one which is about spiritual family and church life prayer and worship faith and hope biblical prosperity and generosity evangelism and world missions and resurrection and judgment so um this is a really really good one that i cannot wait to dive into then i have goliath must fall which i have started before you guys can see I started it. Need to finish it. I finished the actual reading of the book, but I haven't finished the study, so I need to get into that. Um, then I have this here, which is um, Draw in Bible Study, which is on Ruth. This is written by Eugene Patters Peterson. There's one on Esther as well as Mary, and it's basically a Bible study, but um, there are areas for you to color as well. 
So it's a full-on Bible study. It goes through the actual book of Ruth. But um, it's for those who are really creative and prefer the art style but still want to study the Word of God. And then this is the actual study guide for She Did What She Could from Alicia Morgan. But I don't know why I have it because I already um, have the book with the Bible study in it. But whatever. Then I have my NIV Bible here, which I've hauled, and then my two boxes for my study Bibles, um, which is the King James Study Bible from Thomas Nelson, and then the HCSB Study Bible for Women, um, and that. And I have the new study Bible that they came out with, so um, I'm just going to continue using the um, HCSB as my devotional Bible until I fill it up, and then I'm going to use the new CSB one. But um, the last thing on my shelf is this one of my little tote bags um i used to use this for journaling um and artwork but right now i just have a bunch of my stickers so i have like my faith stickers from me and my big ideas which is a happy planner other ones from the happy planner um some paper tape stickers from dollar tree more stickers from dollar tree and notebooks um this notebook here is kind of like my book and movie notebook but i haven't even been using that um, some bookmarks are in here and stuff like that, so, yeah, that tote bag is just sitting there with stuff, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, hold on, okay, so that's pretty much it, my shelf, you guys, um, again, quick view of the shelf, nothing is organized as it was, but that is my bookshelf, all of the books, um, if you guys need to see a specific review of a book, just let me know if you guys want to see a haul or what, not a haul, but, like, um, an in-depth talk about my books, or, like, I know somebody asked me if I have books for, like, singles or couples, um, or people who are in relationships, so I'm definitely gonna do a video on that, um, pretty much soon, because I have books for that. Um, but yeah, these are the two new Bibles that I have, the Study Bible, as well as the Worldview, but this one doesn't come out until the 15th of May, so I'm probably not gonna record this until maybe next week, around that time. I think this one has been released already, um... And this literally is the same as the lavender and pink Bible that I showed you guys, my HCSB study Bible. You can click the eye on the screen for that video. It's the same, but it's in the updated CSB translation. So I'm going to do a video review on that and then a comparison as well. Um, because that this one is just so pretty. Oh my god, so pretty. But um, yep, that is my bookshelf, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will do an in-depth look at this as well as that um, in a separate video because there's too many of them to do. But yeah, that's my shelf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.